will I help on the foreign men from Ulster's lovely lawn. They could not march upon the twelfth processions was all born. <laughs> so they flew off till the Middle East, this dreadful law to dodge. And they found it in Jerusalem, the Arab Orange Lodge. <laughs> Now Big Ollie Bay, who charmed the snakes, he was a first recruit. John James McKeague from Portland own learned him to play a flute. And as the old paid paper was once follied by the rats, there follied Ollie tell the lodge ten snakes and bowler hots. <laughs> now they made a martial picture as they marched along the shore. It stirred the blood when Ali played the fez me father wore. <laughs> and Yusuf Ben Muhammad had the long big such a bosh. It scared the living daylights from a camel and a sod. <laughs> now the movement spread both near and far, there was lodges by the score. The Jerusalem purple heroes was the first of many more. <laughs> The loyal sons of Jeddah <laughs> and the mega purple star <laughs> and the rising sons of Jericho who came by motor car. <laughs> now the Bonners too was wonderful and some would make you smile. King Billy on his camel as he splashed across the nail. <laughs> But the tyrant side and temperance had the best one of them all. <laughs> For it had a lovely picture of Damascus Orange Hole. <laughs> the apprentice boys of Ammon marched beneath the blazing sun. The royal black perceptory was Negroes every one. <laughs> And lodges came from Egypt, from the Abu Simbel Falls. And the shouted, no surrender, and will guard old Cairo's walls. <laughs> but when the bond was lifted, and the lodges marched at last, the Arabs all decided for the march right through Belfast. <laughs> it caused a lot of trouble before they got afloat. They could not get their camels on a bloody Haitian boat. <laughs> now camels choked up Liverpool, and camels blocked Stranraer. And the sheik of Kuwait came along his great big motor car. But the eastern magic gale, well, they worked a crafty mood. They got on their magic carpets and flew and they all their groves. <laughs> When they came to Castle Junction, where once stood the wee kiosk, they dug up Royal Avenue to build a flaming mosque. Devlin says a cherry fit, think we'd better go. There's half a million camels coming down from Sandy Road. <laughs> now the speeches at the field that day was really some new. For half of them was Arabic, and half was in Hebrew. But just as Colonel Nasser had got up to sing the Queen, I woke up in me bed at home and found it was a dream. <laughs>